staying on the time the debate's an hour and a half long and it's almost done and i can't believe how quick it's gone by uh bill if you could ask over the next question and uh, basically the final question sure thanks uh over as governor what will you do so that the veterans finally get a full service VA hospital well first of all i want to thank all the veterans who are in this room for the service in the country we all came out state and our nation's history and let us not let their sacrifices and the other men and women who have served us and have given the ultimate sacrifice not that their efforts have, have been expended in vain we are at the brink in our country and in our state and so this is why it's so encouraging to so many people here to commend these veterans for the sacrifices they made as far as i'm concerned uh, mr speaker we're going to work with the federal government which is a federal you know, veterans hospital is a federal hospital and to try to work to try to expand benefits to make sure that our veterans have access to local hospitals as well in the interim um, through vouchers and so forth so they have ready access uh, to health care the best health care possible uh, we're working in partnership with the government but i will say this if i'm the governor of new hampshire we're not going to turn over control over our health care delivery system in exchange for a veterans hospital uh, we're going to make sure that new hampshire continues to offer the best quality possible to our citizens and our veterans and we're going to work in partnership with the federal, with the federal government through this veterans administration and come up with the best plan but we're not going to simply turn over the keys uh, to our delivery system uh, because washington decides it has a better idea and uh, that's my commitment to the veterans and the <coughs> veterans across new hampshire I would echo Ovid's sentiments and just say that uh, you know I commend all the veterans in this room um, for your service to the state, to our country as well. Uh, I come from a family of veterans to grandfathers that served in the Navy. My father was in the Air Force Reserve. And to me as a state, if we're not treating our veterans well, then how can we possibly be expected to treat anyone else well in our state? They deserve the utmost uh, respect and treatment from a state perspective. Now, in terms of getting a full service uh, VA hospital here, uh, the one in Manchester is, is uh, as many of you probably know, is inadequate right now. It is not a full service hospital. And so I too would work with our congressional delegation. This is a nonpartisan issue. It should be a nonpartisan issue when we're talking about our veterans. And I would work with them to work with the federal government to try to get a full service hospital care. If we're not able to do that, what we should at least do is allow veterans to access hospitals in their geographic area and get vouchers from the federal government that they can use to go and access those hospitals. Because one of the biggest problems right now is access to transportation for a lot of veterans. They need to either go to White River Junction in Vermont or Jamaica Plain down in Massachusetts. And so and the one way to get rid of the transportation problem is allow them to access hospitals uh, all throughout the state. Lastly, I would just say this, I'm alarmed by the number of veterans that are returning home right now from the battlefield that are committing suicide. We need to make sure there's adequate services for mental health services, adequate uh, care there for our veterans who need to access it. TV.